St. Paul's School, established in 1964, has a happy, secure and caring environment within which children can achieve their very best through a well-balanced curriculum. We meet regularly as a school for class assembly and on special occasions the whole school gather together including many parents and the priests from our local parishes. in the whole history of the world was there such an awareness of people in need. What you've done today is give all these gifts for people in the parish, people who are elderly and people who will love having a present. So if you grow up learning more about this and being generous, then it's going to be a much happier world and a much happier human family. we celebrate our birthdays and several children are rewarded with bands. Back in class, children are encouraged to develop as individuals, making decisions and choices for themselves. Marble. Now you've both put that you think it will sink. So would you like to test your prediction and make sure you're right? Okay? Both agree they've sank? Yes. <laughs> Schemes of work in line with the national curriculum follow the children's own pace. Horses stop being afraid of me, and horses and riders. The class is often divided into small groups for specific projects, or to make best use of specific equipment or talents. This also means children have ample opportunity to use the excellent facilities within St. Paul's. We value our children and encourage respect and tolerance for all members of the school. By being responsible for their own and their classmates' well-being and by placing emphasis on self-discipline, every child can make a valuable contribution to their class. I ran a way, a way from you too. Good. I will swim. swim. 
We welcome parents into the school to assist our teachers and to bring valuable skills into the school. How did you get up to my bedroom window, she demanded. It's bad enough with everybody nagging me to marry you. How are you? Going up very well, thank you. I'd like to uh, discuss some arrangements with the friends. We have a thriving parent teacher association who supplement our purchases of school equipment. We encourage all pupils to take school dinners. These are prepared and cooked on site and offer a tasty and nutritious well-balanced meal. To widen the children's experiences, every class has the opportunity to take part in visits of educational value. We also use the local area as a base for project work. Perhaps the greatest insight into St Paul's comes from the comments of the children themselves. I like um, writing stories. Going into the playground and playing with my friends that are in the other classes. Tins and units. When we do our sums. Handwriting. I like sums. I like to go to the playhouse. I like doing homework. I like um, topics. I like um, topics that's ancient Greece. Drawing and painting. Takeaways. Easy. Easy. Takeaways and ads. Um, my first thing that's there is having lunch. Incoming reception children are now given a pack to work through with typical preschool activities that are both educational and fun. By introducing new children to the schemes of work used at St Paul's, children slip more quickly into the new routine of school. Hello, Charlotte. Have you done something that deserves a gold star? What have you done? Let me have a look. Double star. Does <laughs> it make you very proud to look at that? Yes. We value our children and aim to create an environment within which every child can achieve their full potential academically, physically and spiritually during their time at St Paul's.